we're going to be making crepes. Um, you can use a bowl and a whisk, no problem. If you are going to use a bowl and a whisk, make sure you don't add all your milk, add half of your milk. Whisk it until it's really thick like a batter. Then once the lumps are broken down, then add the rest of your milk, okay? And you'll get a nice, uh, pretty much a nice smooth batter, okay? So, we'll start. So we're going to add our eggs. Our sugar. Half of our milk. Our flour. A little bit of vanilla essence. Probably about a quarter teaspoon. Then we're going to blend it up, okay, with our stick blender. Now that all the lumps have been broken down, we're going to add the rest of our milk. Now the thickness should be like a, a milkshake consistency. And it's also going to coat the back of the spoon, which is pretty much telling me that there's enough flour, there's enough eggs, and it's going to hold in the, in the pan, okay? Make sure you also let that rest for about half an hour. Guys, right, so we're going to make a mixed berry compote, okay? So we've got our frozen berries, we've got a little bit of water, and we've got some sugar, okay? Before I turn anything on, we're going to put our sugar in first into our pot, and we're going to level that off, okay? Once that's level with the pot, we're going to add water, okay? Just enough to actually cover the sugar, okay? Once you've got to that stage, we'll turn our flame on, okay? Now what's going to happen is the sugar is going to dissolve with the water and it's going to turn to a sugar syrup, okay? At this stage, this is where you can add flavours. You can add orange zest, lemon zest, cardamom pods, cinnamon sticks, star anise. It really comes down to what you want to make. Okay, so the next step is, is to add our mixed berries. Alright, so we're going to add those in. Quick stir. Now at this stage, the cooking process is going to stop because we're using a frozen berry, okay? So we need to bring that back up uh, to full boil and we need to reduce that out for probably about five to six minutes. Uh, the crab mix has rested, okay? Got good consistency, very important. We start with a very hot pan, okay? Take it. We use a bit of canola spray, just prevent those sticking. Now, the best time to turn it when you see all the, the wet mix has to be quite um, cooked on the outside and you start seeing the outside start getting a bit of colour, that's a, that you know that's a good time to turn it, okay? It's beautiful. Now we've finished the crepes, we put the compote in, we've done a beautiful compote, put it in the middle, folding like that, turning, quarters, take it. And now we're going to put the panna cotta next to it. 